and we are live. Do, 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 do. Hi guys, and welcome Hi. to another episode of the Twelve Days of Christmas. Do this. Oh, there yeah. you go. All right. <laughs> no, you got to keep the head behind. I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying. You want me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, didn't think this through for group activity. <laughs> yeah. Uh, today is JVC day. We had a really fun question that we we wanted you guys to solve. Yeah. I'm gonna just turn this off for now. And you know, it was one of those hard ones. Let me ask you this, Josh. Did you know the answer to this question before? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you say that. Like, like so, before you start working for JVC. Oh no! Before I started working for JVC, I did not know, but I thought well, you that's, were, yeah. That's that's what. It, so, what does JVC stand for, Josh? Uh, Japan Victor Company. Okay, so the reason why I have you say that is because if you know if I say it wrong, then you know that's I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't say it, bro. It ain't my fault. The guy that works there said it. He totally screwed it up. You no, know, we did this whole training on like the history of JVC. There's a lot of really cool stuff about it. Yeah. Another time, not for now, but. Yeah, no, no, we're not going to get into it. I should have Jared on when we ask, because we're, we're going to do something for Sony. I should get Jared on and be like, Jared, explain this to us. And he'd, be like, he'd be like, God, you suck. Yeah. Set him up and then, tell, and then tell him Josh told you to set him up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that, will, that won't work yeah. out. Then you're going right, to we'll get a call back. back. Yeah. Um, so yeah. F- festive, not festive. Yeah, festive. I got the holiday cheer right now. But I know, right? No, yeah, no yeah. cheer. No cheer. Not this anymore. could be any day. It's, gone, <gasps> it's Christmas. Yeah. Oh, no, it's back. Yeah, it's good. No, it's back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, for the guys who don't know, this gentleman to our opposite, the parallel that that side is um, Josh. Josh works for two companies, and today he's working for JVC. So That's we'll right. just leave it at that. Um, <laughs> and today he's going to help us give away the gifts that they sent us for you guys. Uh, along with that, we're also going to, after we give the gifts away, if anybody would like to stay on, we're going to do a little ten minutes on jvc three-way as some call it network mode Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to show you how to engage it what models it works on and some of the features it'll add to your radio if it's something you want to do a lot of people don't know the radios do this we thought this would be a good opportunity uh, for a little quick quick tutorial education thing since we have him there's no reason for us not to use him just a little bit (laughs) used and abused man um, yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the upside. We get to use your boss next week, so it's all right. <laughs> That's you know. true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, we get to have fun with him. All right, so all we right. have two sets of gifts. Just to recap, what do we have, Fernando? So we have the gift number one, that is the dash cam and air purifier. Air purifier. I'll, yeah. I'll save you the heartache. Yeah, I thank you. Uh, then we have the wireless charger and the component set. Of six and a half inch speakers. Six and a half components. Yeah. Very nice. Now, there, there was about 500 of you that entered today, so thank you. Wow. Now, what we do is we take that 500 and we s- randomly draw five people from that. Now, those 500 people, we check to verify any because we actually can type in Japanese Victor Company and it'll pull up anybody that put that in the answer. And there's 500 of you that did that. Then we randomly from that narrow it down to five people because we are five star. So that kind of makes sense. And Josh is going to randomly pick a number one through five. And that'll be the first person that we get rid of. Now, we have five people that we've selected and we're going to do our best to pronounce your names. Yeah. um, Which I can't do from the back. We have Timothy Neal. Yep. We have what we're just calling Tim S because I can't pronounce your last name. Um, we have Grant Comfort. We have Don Loser. 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 And we have Jose Sosa. There you Look go. Look at that. Yeah. Spanish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you sucked at it the other day. I we know. had to have Mary I Lou know. come in and take over. <laughs> Mary Lou told me how to do it. Yes. Um, all right, Josh. <laughs> so I didn't tell you what number those were. Not that you can not. figure it out, but um, <laughs> give me a number one through five. I'm gonna go with two. Yeah. All right, all right. So Tim, he hates two? you. He hates you, Tim. He told me he's like, I'm gonna bomb Tim. No, sorry, Tim. <laughs> uh, Tim, good luck. Please try again tomorrow and the continuing on the saga. So that leaves us with four. Give me a number. I'm not gonna tell you what it's gonna mean though. Just give me a number. Any number. Any number one through five. Other oh, than one four. Five. Okay. One through right four, on. other than five. Other, okay. other one than four, two. You can't do two because you've already done two. Right. So 
One through five. Give me so you have one, three, three, four, and five. Yes. Which one do you want? Uh, I'm gonna go five. All right. Jose Sosa, you're the new winner of an air purifier and a dash cam. Ooh, yeah, that's right. This will go into your car and do amazing things. So if you're one of those guys, I don't know, maybe a five o'clock farter on the way home, no problem, man. <laughs> Leave this thing in the cup holder, hit the magic button, and it'll just make it smell like roses for you. And, of course, and then you can record it. You so guess. you can tell the family you did that. Turn the cam there you for go. yourself. Anyways, <laughs> let me write that on there. Congratulations, Jose. Let's see. Dash cam. Yep. All, right. All right. So good job. Now, Josh. Yeah. You have the numbers one, three, and four. Okay. Give me one of them. We'll go one. Yeah. Timothy Neal. Sorry, buddy. But you didn't get it today. Please try again tomorrow or any day thereafter. Yeah. All right. So we got three and four. Do you have a coin? Do you have a coin? Do you have a quarter, a nickel, a dime, anything you can flip that has a heads or tails on it? I have an SD card. With a Perfect. There you go. All right. So the shiny side is three. The black side is four. All right. Throw it up in the air. Let's see it. Are we going to catch and then do the flip on the top of the hand after? Or we just I don't care what you do. If you're that All talented, right. go for it. <laughs> so we got there you go. We got the dark side of the moon. Right? You got the dark side. Don, you're the winner, my friend. Good job. All right, Don, you're going to get this cool cell phone cradle charger. In this six and a half component set. That's right, man. How awesome go. is that? Six and a half. All right, guys, this is real simple. I will be emailing you here in the next couple days. Yep. Um, and then we'll get your address. We'll get these things mailed off to you. All right, JVC in here. Thank you so much for participating with us. This has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Uh, a lot of you guys are entering, which is awesome. So keep doing. Tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is Friday. So yes, we have two correct. more days left of really awesome prizes. I will say uh, uh, tomorrow you're definitely going to want to play. There's a really awesome tool up for grabs that isn't ours. Just to get that out of the way. As well as Saturday, we're going to have a special guest in, Doug Dobson. And, and from there, we've told you who he works for. So there's some nice stuff there we have also to give away. Correct. Uh, and then Monday, it all starts over again. Yay! But we have Josh here to talk a little bit about three-way mode. First off, can you give us a little, like, what is three-way mode? Yeah. So not all of our receivers, but some of our receivers actually feature, you know, two-way or three-way options. The three-way mode uh, kind of gives us the ability to better configure a higher end system. So three-way mode, we can activate to use like a bandpass filter, uh, for example, on one channel of output. So we can cross over, you know, low and higher point frequencies. So uh, it helps us to be able to, you know, design the system a little bit more in depth and get a better sound, maybe eliminate the need for some external parts along the way too, and making the install easier. So do you still have your truck set up this way? Of course I do. Absolutely. We it's had a still good time tuned. With that. From, we did. I was going to say, I haven't even changed the tuning. I, oh, I it is. Is all the way that it was whenever we got done with it. So, we, so uh, cool. We well, I'll tell you what. We so, actually have. Look uh, at that right there. Trimo, the life of the party. Always. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all see, right, let me... three comments popping up in the chat. <laughs> yeah. These are audio related. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh-huh. I hear you. <laughs> yep. let's, let's do this. And I'm going right. to pull this up. So what radio are we looking at right here? Yeah, so this is our KWZ-1000W, which is our 10.1 floating panel. Uh, and this is one of the receivers we have that does offer this. You want me now, to show Fernando's, you? Fernando's going to be our Vanna White hands. Yes. Uh, what buttons do we press in order to make? What do we have to do to make this happen? All right, so first things first is you have to set the receiver into standby mode. Standby so mode. Okay. If you want to press the little icon in the bottom left with the nine squares there. Okay. There you go. And then hit AV off. Perfect. So now that the receiver is off while it's still on, uh, we can go in and we can press the volume down button and press the home button at the exact same time. Oh, the home, the home icon. The home button. Yeah, home there button. yeah, there you go. Okay. Perfect. So then all we have to do is select three-way. And now it's a party. And hey, yes. And now three-way mode is the life of the party. That's right, yes. So, so, we, so how can we check that if it is actually in a three-way? Okay, so go hit the gear icon there. And then the audio in the top right corner. 
So if you look here, you can see, let's say, oh, actually, pause. Let's go back and turn on a source. So maybe turn on like AC radio. Okay. That's a very important thing. We have to have audio on to be able to do that, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go. go HD radio, and then you say gear. And then the audio, yep. Audio. Perfect. So now you see how it says high pass, band pass, and low pass in the yep. middle. So that's letting us know that it's in three-way mode. If it wasn't in three-way mode, that would say front, rear, and subwoofer instead. So now we have the ability to have the high pass. So if we wanted to run like tweeters, for example, off of that channel, and then band pass, where we could run like our mids, right? Or the well, let's, let's, let's slow it down there just for one okay. second, because I want to show people, like, if you look right now, the high pass is highlighted, and mm -hmm. we see 4K as mm -hmm. the crossover point. Can yeah. you toggle through those real quick for me, Fernando? Yeah. And let's see what some of the, so at 5K, 6.3, 8, 10. So you can get, you can get really high. And 12. then you, sh show us the slope. All right. 18, 24. What does the frequency button do? Are those, are those right above uh, it? No, they grayed out. Okay. I'm guessing it's because. All yeah, right. So now. Little, I, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. So then we have gain down, which I know like some people just go with. Ah, why would you <laughs> want to gain anything down? But <laughs> well, you do have gain down in the crossover section. So All right. I actually did use that eight. because my tweeters are titanium and I wanted to kind of dull them down just a bit. Oh no, you're yeah. not fun. Yeah, listen, we all we all like Fernando, okay? <laughs> uh, all right, now let's select the band pass and we can continue talking about that. All right. Go ahead, fill us in. Yeah, so same same principle. You see low pass filter is set for 4K. Uh, you can adjust that up if you wanted to. Uh, same thing with high pass filter. If you wanted to adjust that, that way we can cut off some of those lower frequencies. So this would help There's us be able to pass. set up. Yeah, it's our band pass. So now we've got the appropriate frequency ranges that we can run to a mid and a door, for example, and not have anything too high or too low. So can I still use deck power when I'm doing this? Yeah. That's how my truck is, actually. Remember, my truck is, uh, I have active on the front, but then my rear speakers are deck power. So that crossover point still works for those, too. All right. Um, go hit the, and then subwoofer works the same way as, as previous. Low pass, yep. Mm -hmm. So hit the position DTA there for me, will you, Fernando, on position the left side? Position DTA. Well, now we only have two seats instead of four. That's right. Yeah, three-way mode does get rid of the fader, so we can't fade front to rear anymore. Okay, hit the adjust button. Let's see what that shows us. Ooh. I think this is where we spent most of our time. <laughs> this is where we spent a lot of time. Yep. A lot of, a lot of time. So now we have adjustment for time delay on just the tweeters, the mid-range, and the subwoofer. So it is a, it's a full three-way active system. Yeah. Um, that's really cool. It is. I mean, the way that I always tell everyone is, you know, by no means does this replace the need for some products, but it does kind of help simplify it in some cases or, you know, kind of streamline the install process. There's less products that you may have to put in. Uh, it's great for, you know, obviously it can always be amplified in other cases, pun intended, but... Um, it's a, I, I think it's one of the coolest features that we have, but you know, we're kind of on the geekier side with some of this stuff. So, so right now we have it in delay. Uh, if you, I push level. Yeah. Then you actually able to turn your level on the Twitter or the mid range. So this will help with your, with your, uh, this will help with your time alignment so you can level match. Because uh, sometimes the driver's side is coming in a little too hot, even after you've aligned it. So you can go and turn that down to move your center image over. Yeah. Instead yep, of keep nice. pressing the delay. <laughs> so what cool happens if you don't like it? If you, that's exactly what I was about to say. The cool part is if you go in and you just get too carried away and you mess everything up, you can hit that initialize button in the top right corner, and then it'll reset it all back to factory adjustments. So. And that's good to know that that's what that does, because when you get all done, if you accidentally hit it thinking that's like a memory or something, <laughs> a good way to ruin your day. Yeah. <laughs> or just to just kind of piss you off for a couple minutes. Well, that's like, why we give you that confirmation ah! that you have to hit yes to, right? It's like you're about yeah, to wipe yeah. everything that you did. Are you sure you want to do this? So. All right. So in three-way mode, we get obviously a, a, a cool three-way crossover with tweeter, a mid-range with band pass. Mm -hmm. We get time alignment. Yeah. Um, what else does this, does this throw anything else for us in there? Um, with three-way three -way mode specifically or? 
Well, I know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? Hmm. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, the, the cool part about this receiver is we have the added bonus in the sound effect tab where we can change. You know, traditionally, it comes with our 13-band graphic EQ. But if we are doing an install like we did, you know, uh, in my truck, we can use the three-way mode and then go in to set our crossover points, use the time alignment to balance everything out. And then we can activate the parametric EQ that lives within the receiver. So that's uh, oh, one no, of my no. things. It's right back there. Yeah, sound effect. And then in the bottom right, you have the ability to turn that on. So then whenever you get into that, you can hit setup and that'll open up the parametric EQ. And then we can adjust on different channels. We can adjust frequency ranges. You can change the Q. Uh, you know, high peaking, high pass. Press the uh, tweeter. Press the tweeter. No, up top where it says tweeter, it says common yep. tweeter, mid range. So now you have a two band tweeter, a two band mid, and then a one band subwoofer along with hit common again. Yep. All of you have nine bands. So that's two, four, five, 10, 14, 14 bands of adjustment. All right. So can you explain a little bit about? High pass, high shelving. Yeah. So those are those are different filter modes, right? Like so like high shelving, which correct me if I'm mistaken, Dean, we've actually had this conversation, but yeah. high shelving kind of acts as like a, a shelf to raise certain frequencies together at the same time on like the higher and lower, right? Where Yeah. Because the typical EQ will just raise, you know, a band with a limited amount of Q. Right. A shelf will take, it almost acts, think of it as kind of like an EQ hybrid crossover to where it just takes wherever, wherever your point is, it lay, raises everything to the, oh, we went down. <laughs> sorry, sorry. sorry, I was getting a phone call. Um, uh, it raises everything to the right or left of that frequency, depending on whether it's a high shelf or a low shelf. Yep. So let's say you, you're you like, man, I really wish my tweeters were brighter. Instead of going in and picking every frequency along, you could just say 5,000 and lift up everything to the right of 5,000. And that'll just give you or pull it down if you're a down guy. So, yep. And you also have three different user presets, which I think is pretty cool. The ability yeah. to have three different tunes that you can keep. Uh, with that and save those. So if you want to switch you know, your tune based on your genre of music or whatever, you can do that easily right there too. So. And this is only available on the 1000. The right. the parametric the, EQ is yes. only available on the 1000. So the, the three-way three set. Yep, that we actually introduced in some of the new receivers that we're shipping. So like the seven, the KW M780BT will feature the three-way mode. The 788BH will also feature the three-way mode. Um, and then here in a little bit, whenever the KWM 785BW ships, that will also have it too. So we'll have a total of four receivers that will have the three-way mode in them. 2023, it's a new, see, three, three-way. Yes. Oh, <laughs> right. that's what we waited until 2023 to do this, just so we could have that. Just, right? uh, yeah, it's, it's a total, you know, it's, it's, it's a, a total package. Sales pitch. Well, yep. Josh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and letting us tell you one of the really cool features. If you're interested in J, J, JVC, yep. <laughs> if you're interested in JVC, head over to JVC.com, select the consumer tab, and check out some of the cool radio speakers and amplifiers they have. Also, thank you to JVC, of course, you guys, to uh, to give this amazing gift to Jose and Don. Good job, Congratulations guys. to the winners. Yeah, yeah. Guys, cool. continue to play. We have more tomorrow. We'll see you then. This has been the 12 days of Christmas. And this has been JVC. Jo and this has been Josh from JVC telling us all about it. <laughs> I have been Josh from JVC, yes. Thank, Thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you, man. All right. Take care. Bye.